Hi, this is State Representative Nino Vitale. I posted a video and an article last week about the school shooting in Florida, and the conversation continues to heat up. If you haven't yet seen that video titled God's the Problem, Not Guns, click the link below. These very tragic events generate a lot of emotion. And rather than focus on emotion, I wanted to give you a few more points to think about, one of which is free, quick, and will protect our children. Many people want to target a type of gun, like a so-called assault rifle or AR-15. Did you know that the AR-15 is the most popular firearm in the United States? It's like saying German Shepherds bite more than any other breed. They do indeed have a higher bite count, more than any other dog, but they also are the most popular dog. So there are simply more of them, which drives up the incidence of bites from this breed. Should we kill all the German Shepherds and prohibit their breeding? What about banning guns entirely? Would that work? There are over 300 million guns in America. There are also about 700,000 law enforcement officers. Most of those officers don't want their firearm rights taken away and support the right of the public to own and carry. Do you really think they would go door to door and force themselves into your home and confiscate your firearms like some want to do? And some claim we should be like Europe, where they basically ban all guns in most countries. But like Norway, one of the most restrictive gun countries, Norway is unfortunately home to one of the worst school shootings in history, with almost 70 killed at a school camp. And that's in a country with very restrictive gun control. But yet a criminal still got a hold of a gun. So how do we keep our kids safe in schools? So this solution, like I mentioned, is fast and it's free and it's working. Do you think a potential shooter and his fantasy are more likely to go to a school if they know there are a variety of unknown, trained individuals that may fire back? We can derive part of our answer by looking at the shooter in Colorado who passed two theaters that allowed concealed carry, which were closer to his home, in favor of a third and a farther theater that was posted as a gun-free zone. Why did he choose that gun-free zone theater and not the other two that were closer? Might he have known he would not have resistance? Would you feel safer if your kids and grandkids were sitting in a building with no protection? Or would it be better if there were trained teachers and school staff, unknown to even the students, who can defend them should an active shooter incident arise? Think this wouldn't work? As I study gun laws across the United States and the world, Utah has been doing just this for some 15 years. They don't require anyone to carry, but they do allow the local schools and staff to decide if they want to carry. And many do. And guess what? Utah has had a total of zero school-related shootings. Look it up. Zero kids shot in Utah schools. What stops a bad guy with a gun? It's usually a good guy with a gun, unfortunately. Passing more laws will only be ignored by criminals and create a situation where the vast majority of law-abiding citizens have more and more freedoms taken away. It will also erode a foundational principle of our country, our right to keep and bear arms. This union was founded on our right to protect ourselves and our loved ones, and frankly, I like it that way. And I will continue to protect your God-given right to do so. Stay safe, carry on, and this is State Representative Nino Vitale.